We're picking up where we left off last time on the retablo. And today we're going to do some work on the flower up here. We're going to start some uh, painting on kind of the under layer for the retablo. And this top flower is going to be a reddish, orangish color. Uh, we're going to do that first and we'll do, uh, we'll save the rest for later, but we're just going to work on the top flower to get that started. Okay, so we're going to do this in acrylic. So I've done uh, just acrylic on acrylic on wood is uh, is just fine. So we're going to just start off with kind of a darker layer, kind of a little uh, brownish, uh, a brownish reddish oil layer first, and then we'll work up, uh, go lighter. From there and I've already sanded everything and I've already got the texture the way I want it I do want to preserve some kind of uh, uh, kind of some texture a little rough hand hewn kind of textures that I'm looking for that's that's kind of that's kind of uh, a characteristic of the retablo tradition so it has some folk art qualities to it and I'm going to try to preserve some of that aesthetic. As you can see, I also um, did an under drawing. You can see more clearly the final image, what it's going to look like. Uh, image of the classical image of the crucifixion. Um, uh, the border in the in the back of the background. Um, in this case, it's mountains and a adobe church. Um, we're going to do... I'm also planning to, to get the... Uh, gold leaf along around the halos but the benefit of course of acrylics is that it goes on uh, very easily the wood receives it well working with pine board which is also a traditional retablo material um, traditionally retablos in New Mexico be made out of ponderosa pine, which is an abundant pine tree in the southwest, particularly in the mountains. There'll be other layers of paint above it. And it won't be it won't be all this kind of brown at the end. When I paint this under layer, the under layer here will go into those recesses of the wood and the subsequent layers on top won't. And so it'll give that kind of texture, kind of dry brushing uh, effect uh, as I get through the subsequent layers. Okay, so we're done with the under coat here of the border and of the flower. It's kind of a dark brown uh, burnt umber type color and it's gonna form the basis we're gonna do more uh, throughout the rest of the painting soon but for now we're gonna leave it as is um, we're gonna do subsequent layers on top of this as we go through but for now that's that's where we're gonna stop for today so I'm gonna leave it here and let it dry <laughs> <laughs> 